Hey guys, Zomorox26 here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over how to build a hobbit hole in Minecraft. So as you can see we have this like nice little cute design, should be reminiscent of what you see in the movies, um, and let's get started. This will be a bit of a tutorial slash let's build style video, it's not going to be um, as in depth as another type of tutorial would be. But okay, so we're going to get started by building um, a U-shaped um, area made of grass. This is one sort of terraforming step that I would recommend taking if you're going to be building your hobbit hole to have it in a plains biome. Um, now if you really don't feel like doing all this terraforming as it requires a lot of dirt and a lot of time and a lot of patience, um, I would recommend just finding um, a type of mountain that has like a flat wall and building your hobbit hole there. But we're going to do it the traditional way so you're going to see a very sped up footage of me doing this. Alright so getting into the building. So we're going to start off by building a circular shaped hobbit, hobbit door um, and then we're going to layer in some green terracotta and this will be part of our door. Um, I just think it looks like the movie, I love the green door. And then we're going to finish out the shape of our house, um, framing it with um, our spruce, um, spruce wood blocks and then we're also going to layer in um, I think some birch wood is what we're going to use. Um, behind this gives it a nice little pop um, so it sticks out against the wall you can really like pick whatever woods you want to use I just decided to go with this one you can even use like for, for example like yellow terracotta um, and then we're gonna frame it with our dark wood I think it makes it stand out a little bit more against the grass in the background um, a lot of these steps are like optional you can totally customize them however you want these are just my decisions um, and then we're going to be adding trapdoors as windows. You're going to see me fumble around realizing that I can't place the trapdoor properly if I'm not on the inside of the build, but okay. And then as for the top portion, I'm just adding a little bit more grass so it just really is snug against the um, build. And we're just going to fill out all of this just a little bit. And then one thing that I think is really fun that you can um, add to your build is we're going to put like a tree right on top and we're going to make this a custom tree. So I'm going to make um, this a bit, of, a bit of an oak tree. It's based on the Minecraft tree that you see in the background, actually. Um, so we're going to start off by building our branches on, in a few different directions, some a little bit higher than the others. And then once we have that done, we're just going to cover everything with leaves. It's pretty straightforward. Sometimes you can make them just one block around each leaf. Sometimes you can make them two to stick out a little bit more. But we're just going to go around all of these branches. And this should look nice in the end. It'll look pretty similar to the Minecraft tree. You feel free to make this um, bigger if you would like to do so. I just wanted to keep everything at um, a reasonable scale for this project. But yeah, we're going to complete doing that. And then another thing you can do is, um, if you can see the bottom, we added some like roots with the oak log. Um, and you can also thicken the trunk a little bit, which I think is something that I did. Um, and if you don't want to make your own custom tree, you can grow yourself a large Minecraft tree and then maybe like poke out a few of the leaves and thicken the trunk, add some roots, add some leaves all around. Um, you can really do it like this as easy or as hard as you want it to be. Um, so we add some leaves around, make it nice and cute. We're adding some coarse dirt to mix it in around there and look like it's very fertile. And then we're gonna go into the inside for a bit before we keep doing the exterior. So we're completing our little like circular door on the inside and then we're gonna just frame the side of the building so that we'd have no dirt visible. Um, and you're gonna see me fumbling around a little bit trying to figure out what works and what doesn't work. But what I decided does work is we're gonna have these pillars that are about three blocks apart for each of them. And then we're making little arches in between each of them. As you can see, we have um, our dark oak staircases that are supporting our pillars. And then for each of the um, archways, we're doing kind of like a, a rounded spherical arc um, where it's starting at each of the corners and working us up to the middle. So you, hopefully you can see a little bit of that here in this time edit um, where we get that nice shape going. And we're going to repeat that for pretty much all of the arches, except for along the middle where we're going to have kind of a narrow strip that's ma mainly framed by these dark oak logs and the um, dark oak plank blocks. And then we're just filling in the floor. Feel free to do whatever you want with this um, as well. And I wasn't as pragmatic with the use of the bookshelves. Um, it wouldn't be as practical to use this for um, an enchanting table, but you can totally um, make another little like poke in hole where you can just go and enchant your level three items. But um, 
We're just making this look cute. This is our hobbit hole. This is what we want it to look like, you know? All right, so we're doing another archway and then we're gonna repeat this process for each of these corners, filling in our floor um, and doing this um, as like efficiently, but also we wanted to like add some detail here and there, you'll see. And then hopefully you can glance a little bit at the ceiling of what I did in the middle, but we have nice little logs. It goes straight through and then we're adding our little arches on each of the left and right sides. And then for the middle, we're gonna be adding a fireplace. Now be warned, you will need to have um, fire tick turned off in your game. Um, so just let that be known. This wood is very flammable. <laughs> I learned my lesson for a second, but um, it's okay. Anyway, we're gonna add like a nice little seating area here. You'll see me like fumbling with paintings for a second, trying to get like a one by one painting. I just think it looks nicer. Then we can add our little armor stand and chests. And now that's the inside. We're gonna go back to finish the exterior, make it really detailed, really fun, really organic feeling. Like we're just out here and this is just, we just punched in a house, but all this like overgrowth was just um, already here just due to like lack of maintenance. Um, and we're just going to be adding a lot more coarse dirt, a lot more leaves, some gravel, some smooth stone, and we're just going to be texturing that in with the grass blocks. And as well, one way, one very easy way to make this build seem a lot more like overgrown is just to spam bone meal. <laughs> um, but I think that's a little bit lazy to only do that. So we're going to add some leaves, some mossy cobble, gravel, all that, really texturing it most heavily right around the house, but then spreading it out still um, around the U-shape that we've built. Yeah. So what I'm doing a little bit more is we're bringing in a little bit of the edges in here, and then we're gonna have this go down another couple of layers so that we can um, add like a little bit of a um, stream flowing through here, and then we can add our little farms. And I just think it looks nice to have a little bit of a dip here so it's not entirely flat in terms of looking organic as a build. Um, so that's what we're doing right now. We're just punching out a little bit of an area and then we're gonna start filling in our waterfall, I believe, on the right side of the build. We're gonna add in some stone and stuff as like the origin of this is where the waterfall is gonna start. And then we're gonna punch out a little area for it to go through and then a little pond for it to land in essentially. And then we're gonna add some stone and some gravel around just to make it look nice and textured and organic. Um, and then we'll just fill that in. And it should just flow nicely, nicely down using our Minecraft physics rules. And then we'll fill it in using um, more water to keep it still, add some lily pads. And then all this dirt was kind of bothering me. So we're gonna change that all to grass so that I can shovel it. But I believe we're adding a bridge now. Um, you can really do this in a number of different ways. I'm not sure if I love the bridge design that I came up with. It was very simple. Um, it's literally just add slabs and then add your dark oak slabs to frame it so each half block is just one half block higher. Very simple. And then we just added a little bit of fence blocks to make it look spicy. Um, but anyway, we're changing all this dirt to grass so that we can shovel it to make um, a nice little um, pathway to walk through, which is what we're doing now. And then for each of the inclines, we're just gonna add slabs so that we can just walk through smoothly. And that should look nice. Now, an our next step is to make this look a little bit just more overgrown. This still looks a little too clean for my taste. Um, so we're gonna add like some farms and these farms are gonna be not the most um, bountiful of farms, but they're just gonna look nice. We're adding some pumpkin um, plants right here. And then we're gonna add some other, maybe like beetroot, potato, wheat, add melons, um, whatever you want, even add um, sugar cane. That would look very nice. Now that I'm thinking about it, that would have been very nice in here. So feel free to add some sugar cane blocks. And then we're just gonna be doing that a little bit on both sides. You can really make your farm as big or as little as you want. You can make it extend all the way over the grass. You can make it extend all the way down the hill. Um, it's really up to your preferences. I just thought a little bit would be good just right on the inside. And then we can really, um, we can add even more coarse dirt, we can add more leaves. Um, and that's what we're doing now. We're just spamming some bone meal and really getting this set up. All right, so right now we're gonna do like a little bit of a tour of the build. Um, you're seeing this right now in Conquest texture pack. I think it looks very nice in this texture pack. Um, I wanted to build it in default so that you guys could get a feel for what it would look like if you're just used to using default. 
but here's what it could look like if you're um, a fan of a lot of these medieval, very rustic, organic style texture packs, and I happen to love them. So yeah, so we're taking a peek of the inside now. Um, you're seeing this in moody lighting, so it's very dark. I kind of like the way the darkness looks. And then we're seeing this nice little seating area. We have the nice little fire that's crackling in the background. And then we have all of our chests and armor. Everything is very practical. And right now we have a nice little view throughout our trapdoors. But anyway, this video is starting to come to a close. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you enjoyed this one, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And feel free to comment for more video recommendations in the future. I hope you guys have a good one and I'll be saying goodbye. Have a good one.